In 2006, uh, in Ukraine, MSI received a fascinating assignment. The U.S. government, through the Millennium Challenge Corporation, uh, and the Ukrainian government had agreed on a two-year plan to reduce corruption in Ukraine. Uh, and MSI was tasked with not only measuring uh, the impact of that uh, reform program, but also um, ensuring that its successes and its progress was communicated to the Ukrainian public. So we embarked on developing a variety of measuring tools, largely through public opinion surveys, but also using focus groups, using direct interviews, etc., etc., to uh, to establish a baseline um, to know what the level of corruption, both experienced, perceived, uh, uh, is in various Ukrainian government agencies. So we were, were looking at the uh, law enforcement, we were looking at uh, business regulation, we were looking at the education sector. Uh, and, tra and then we would conduct track polling every year. We would conduct the same survey over and over to see how these things have changed uh, as a result of the reform efforts that were being implemented. Once we had that data, we then tried to reformulate it into a way that it could be uh, perceived, easily understood by the Ukrainian public. Uh, and we developed a series of public service announcements, a series of small-scale projects, anti-corruption classes uh, that were used uh, through 80 local uh, grassroots organizations with their communities. We, we were also able to screen the public service announcements on national television uh, on a regular basis and then um, utilize it at a local level through local television, through uh, student-teacher conversations. And of course, whenever we would have a new survey, our, uh, our team, the MSI team in Ukraine, would travel throughout the country and publicize the results. When we first started on these public education efforts, we would consult public relations consultants who told us that without a massive advertisement budget, it was impossible to achieve anything beyond 7%. Uh, so their advice was invest heavily in paid television time, uh, in paid radio time, uh, and try to get the message out that way. Well, we didn't have that kind of budget. We didn't have that kind of possibility. So we instead went the route of working with local grassroots organizations throughout the country, 80 of them, to disseminate this information. We, got, we convinced the government, uh, state television channel, to give us free airtime, uh, and they aired the public service announcement over and over again. And then at the local level, the NGOs were able to convince their local television stations, and uh, they were also able to use it in their regular programming and their outreach to their communities that they were doing anyway. Uh, as a result, uh, we were surprised to see that the uh, level of uh, awareness, uh, as shown in our track polling, went first up to 8%, 9%, and at some points even reached 13% after particularly intensive campaigns. So. Um, we were very happy to see that uh, utilizing grassroots organization was a very effective way of getting uh, to the average Ukrainian and uh, ensuring that they understand the negative consequences of corruption that wasn't clear uh, at the beginning of the project.